everybody. Welcome back to my channel, Love Your Life with Mama D. And of course, I'm Glenda Davis, aka Mama D. Now, you are in Mama D's kitchen, but I'm not doing a cooking video right now. I just wanted to just jump up here and just tell you a couple of things to give you a couple of pointers uh, for your holiday preparations. Now, we're getting ready for Thanksgiving tomorrow. Then we'll have Christmas, New Year's, and it's going to be a lot of food, a lot of festivities because that's what we do when we celebrate and have holidays. We have food, okay? Now, people are going to be bringing probably dishes from here and from there. You're going to be eating other people's recipes and that kind of thing. And there's a lot of you who are lactose intolerant. So, my suggestion is today, go ahead and start with... Um, this is what I get for my family. It's uh, This is just a Kroger's brand. Almost everybody in my family is lactose intolerant, except for me. But that just tells you we shouldn't be eating the dairy products anyway. But this is a dairy relief. You can go ahead and take this today, take it tomorrow, take it the day after. But it really does help those people who are lactose intolerant. Because you know when you get to the Thanksgiving dinner or the Christmas dinner, you're going to want some uh, Aunt Nellie Bell's macaroni and cheese and she's gonna be now made it with some serious milk some butter some cheese and all of that and you're gonna be walking around cramping with your stomach because you lactose intolerant and you didn't prepare okay now that's one number two is if this is the eve of either thanksgiving or christmas and you've got all your stuff in your refrigerator's packed and and all your things are sitting around that you're starting to cook do not cook too early Whatever you cook, make sure that you have a place to put it in your refrigerator so it won't sit out all night and then you take it to the party or to the gathering and it's got bacteria growing. And then people are ill in their stomach and they got food poisoning and stuff because somebody left the food out all night. I'm going to do most of my cooking tomorrow. The only thing I'm going to do, I'm starting my greens now. I'll be doing the greens in uh, my Instant Pot. And then I'm going to make the cornbread, which should not be a problem. Cut up the celery, cut up onions, cut up peppers, put them in a baggie, put them in the refrigerator, and start pulling some of that stuff out, the things that you, you don't have room to store anything. So start getting rid of everything in the refrigerator that's in the way that you don't need, stuff that you can dump out now and get it out there for garbage day in time, okay? Point number three, if you have a special dietary restriction, just go ahead and take a little something for yourself. Take your own little lunch bag. <laughs> it's okay. You can bring out your stuff, put it in the microwave, or eat what you can so that you can enjoy the holiday without, you know, sitting there and not eating anything. So if you have a restriction, prepare, okay? And always have you something so when you get back home, you got what you want on your stove or in your refrigerator, okay? And my last point, point number four, is don't wear yourself out tonight cooking serve up something simple make a quick soup a quick little chili some hamburger some taco let it be a go for what you know in the refrigerator some of the stuff that was left over for the past couple of days when you clean out the stuff let somebody have the leftovers from a monday and tuesday because it's it, this is about the last day you can have it anyway so don't overtax yourself so many times women that's what we do we just we have all this going on, you know, trying to make cakes, trying to make pies, doing all that stuff, you know, the night before, the day before. And then you're worn out, worn out. Just, and you can't even drink. I've done it too many times myself, but not anymore. Honey, it's either go for what you know, get yourself a sandwich, get your, fix some soup, go in there, get some of them leftovers, make you a hamburger, fix you some french fries, throw something in, because y'all not going to wear me out. They ain't gonna do it, <laughs> okay? Listen, have a great holiday season. Always prepare, keep a smile on your face. And listen, it's your life. You love it and make the best of it, okay? Until next time, I'll see you. bye-bye.